thing we also know is that different people have different tolerances to pain. So I'm sure many of you um, maybe have siblings or friends that you think, really, is it that painful? And they you know, will scream and cry at something that you would maybe uh, think isn't particularly painful. And it's hard to know whether they're really feeling it more painful or whether they're just exaggerating. The truth is the biology and the scientists and what we've been looking at is why is it that people express pain differently and have these different tolerances. And what we've learned is that people really genuinely do. Uh, obviously, there are examples where people do want to exaggerate, but generally people we know now biologically have different thresholds and they have different levels of how they will experience what to you and I seems like the same amount of injury. Uh, and the basis of that is quite complex. We're still trying to unravel uh, the, all the reasons as to why if I, for instance, gave a you know, a thermal stimulus, a heat stimulus to the back of your hand. Some people might say that's very, very painful and others would say it's mildly painful. And so what we know is that there are differences right from where the heat is hitting the skin all the way up the journey to the brain where those signals are being put together. And again, throughout the person's um, development to adulthood, other aspects about their genetics, uh, their societal cultural upbringing, all these things change that wiring so that the actual input can be amplified or attenuated on its journey to the brain and of course that will produce then a different pain experience. Another example of where uh, somebody has a very um, unusual tolerance to pain uh, is illustrated by people who can lie on beds of nails or they can hang themselves from body piercings uh, and I think for most of us, we'd look at that and think that should be excruciatingly painful. There seems to be a lot of tissue damage and injury, but they don't experience that as painful. And in some instances, they might even find it quite pleasant. So there's an example of where you've got an extreme sort of what we call um, input from tissue damaging type things like nails and hanging from body piercings. But the end result is the person doesn't actually describe that as painful.